Because I've described the crypto, and I don't call them currents, I call them commodities, as railroads of the 1870s. There, there were hundreds of them, most of them in a way. You're left, you know, they were left with four or five. We bring that chart back up, guys. We've got XRP, Ripple, Ether, Litecoin. You know, are these going to be the survivors? How much room is there? Look at that, Ripple, Ether, Lite. Will those four all make it? Is there room for four? Is there room for 10? Is there room for one? That's a great question. Uh, um, I don't like to give uh, explicit uh, predictions like that. I am very bullish on Bitcoin, just given its market cap and given the investor community behind it, given the developer community behind it. Um, so again, Bitcoin we, is the one, though. If you're gonna if you're gonna put your money somewhere in the cryptos, you think that the the biggest one, the most well known one, is still the one. I look at I look at purely at the numbers. Bitcoin has the largest market cap. It has the most liquidity. So if I if I was to predict where an institution was to come in first, Bitcoin would be number one on that list. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.